My research that the Harrington Discovery Institute has funded involves the development of a drug that can restore the normal structure and function of the most commonly mutated gene in cancer, which is P53. P53 is an extraordinarily important protein in terms of tumor suppression and preventing us from getting cancer. It governs uh, the control of a number of cellular processes that are really important to cancer. And so it's really no surprise that cancers almost universally have to disable P53 in order for them to progress. And so for almost as long as P53 has been known, which is over 30 years now, people have been uh, looking for a drug that can restore the normal function of P53 in tumors. In 2012, I collaborated with Arnold Levine as well as a systems biologist named Alexei Vasquez and, and a molecular biologist named Shin Yu at the Rutgers Cancer Institute in Jersey. And we discovered a compound that could actually do this. The compound that you've discovered is really not the drug that you can put into humans for various reasons. You have to create a new compound. And if you're a cancer biologist like me, I have no idea how to do that. So you need help. Uh, you need guidance from people who are chemists. You also need a lot of guidance about, I mean, just the entire drug development process. So we needed the Harrington Discovery Institute and the Innovation Support Center to help us with that. Our job is to figure out where are the biggest risks and how can we mitigate those. And uh, so it's been wonderful working with Darren because he's a person who comes in with just passionate about helping his patients, knows most of his day in surgery, and knows that patients aren't cured by surgery in many cases for colon cancer. So he's asking the question, why can't we find drugs that are specific to this particular target? It's more than just us helping Dr. Cavizo, actually. It's, it's also his willingness to be helped. And the project itself had good scientific basis really excellent uh, colleagues, and so we're able to accelerate, able to identify the path forward towards moving the program to a point where there's a package of uh, intellectual property that was of interest to a commercial party. The Harrington Discovery Institute has allowed me to pursue the research of developing one of the first drugs that can reactivate mutant P53, and that potentially can impact thousands of patients. Without them, this research would have died.